Let's summarize how to do limiting reagent problems. First thing you always, always need to calculate what the limiting reagent is, is a balanced chemical equation. That's step one. You also need to know how much of each reactant you have in moles, not grams. You need the number of moles of each reactant. Now, you have to calculate how much of one reactant you need to use up all of the other. We do that with mole ratios. And finally, do you have that much? If once you figure out which one will be used up first, the one that's used up first is the limiting reagent.